Tayo National High School, Davao City Division, Teleradio Broadcasting. Good day to our dear grade 10 students. I'm so glad that you have tuned in to your favorite channel, hearing this Teleradio based instruction in science. I know that you're so excited watching this video entitled Electromagnetic Waves with me, Mamir Solma Asi, as your teacher broadcaster. As you carefully listen and understand what the topic is all about, you'll get to learn something meaningful and important science concepts and ideas. Today, you are going to learn the electromagnetic waves. So sit back and relax as you view some slides that will help describe and compare the wavelength of the different forms of the electromagnetic wave. Are you ready now? That's great! Okay, at this moment, let's take a look at your science module in quarter two, module one. Do you have any idea about the topic? Great! Happy to know that you can still remember the topic. Alright, here we go. Our topic today is about electromagnetic waves, which is based on the most essential learning competency one, comparing the relative wavelength of different forms of electromagnetic waves. After going through with our discussion, you are expected to describe and compare the waves that make up the electromagnetic spectrum in terms of their wavelength, compare the wavelength of the different colors of light in the visible light spectrum. Have you seen a rainbow in the sky forms after the rain shower? Do you know how it is formed? Rainbows are beautiful representations of light. It is an atmospheric phenomenon that is caused by reflection, refraction, and dispersion of sunlight in water droplets suspended in the atmosphere after a rain shower. The tiny suspended water droplets act as tiny prisms. They refract and disperse sunlight or white light. These rays get reflected internally and emerge out of the droplets, forming a spectrum of colors appearing in the sky. A rainbow shows up a spectrum of light. It is a band of colors that includes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. The different colors of rainbow have different wavelengths accordingly, and all of them are considered electromagnetic waves. Furthermore, it is important to recall your past lessons that you can associate with the different forms of electromagnetic waves and find connections to this present topic. So are you ready? Let's begin! Let us start with this fun activity called and scramble. There are five scrambled words. What you're going to do is you have to scramble the letters and write the words for me. You may use the pictures as clues. You have two minutes to perform the activity. Two very boring minutes later. Are you done? Time is up. Let's try checking your answer. The answer for number one is sunlight. Number two, radio waves. Number three, microwave. Number four, x-ray. Number five, infrared. Congratulations, you've done it well. Have you enjoyed it? Let's learn more of the electromagnetic waves. I am very sure that the first thing that you wanted to see is your smartphone. Am I right? If the answer is yes, I presume that many of you are already familiar with electromagnetic waves or EM waves. Since everybody has access to a mobile phone for communication, personal computer at home, gadgets and other technological devices, all those things use electromagnetic waves for their operation, especially in the transmission of signals from one device to another. Do you know the components of an electromagnetic spectrum? How do these components differ from each other? Let us learn more in the succeeding part of our lesson. Generally, there are two types of waves, the mechanical waves and the electromagnetic waves. They are all considered energy carriers. Water waves and sound waves are examples of mechanical waves. However, they differ in their wave 
of propagating and transmitting energy. Mechanical waves require a medium for its propagation or transmission, such as solid, liquid, or gas. While electromagnetic waves, on the other hand, do not require a medium for its propagation and transmission. They can travel not only through air, but also through the vacuum of space. The light that comes from the sun and other distant stars is an example of an electromagnetic wave. Electromagnetic waves exist with an enormous range of frequencies. This also means that electromagnetic waves have different wavelength and energy. This continuous range of frequencies is known as the electromagnetic spectrum. The entire range of spectrum is often broken into specific regions. The subdividing of the entire spectrum into smaller spectra is done mostly on the basis of how each region of electromagnetic waves interact with matter. We have here our figure 1, which shows the electromagnetic spectrum and its various regions, namely radio wave, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet rays, x-rays, and gamma radiation. The longer wavelength, lower frequency regions are repeated on the far left of the spectrum, and the shorter wavelength, higher frequency regions are on the far right. Two very narrow regions within the spectrum are the visible light region and x-ray region. Figure 2 shows the different types of electromagnetic waves as defined by the amount of energy carried by the photons. From the electromagnetic spectrum, the lowest energy, longest wavelength electromagnetic waves are found at the right most, while the highest energy, shortest wavelength are found on the left most. This also shows some examples and uses of the electromagnetic wave. Table 2 shows the relative wavelength, frequency, and energy of each of the different types of electromagnetic waves. The radio waves has the longest wavelength among electromagnetic waves, yet has the least frequency and energy. While the gamma rays has the shortest wavelength but has the highest frequency and amount of energy. Therefore, the longer the wavelength, the lesser the energy. And the lower the frequency of an electromagnetic wave, the shorter the wavelength the greater the amount of energy and frequency of electromagnetic waves. In your grade 8 science, you've learned that waves, in general, have wave speed V, wavelength lambda, and frequency F, which is approximately equal to 3 times 10 raised to the power of 8 meters per second. From the equation V equals lambda F, or wave speed equals wavelength times frequency. When the wave speed is taken to be constant, we find that wavelength and wave frequency have inverse relationship. This means that when the wave frequency is high, the wavelength is short and vice versa. Let us have an example problem using the wave equation. Suppose a certain electromagnetic wave has a wavelength of 4.5 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3 meters. How do you find its frequency using the wave equation? What electromagnetic wave has its wave frequency? To find the frequency, the following steps shall be done. First, let us identify the given. C equals 3 times 10 raised to the power of 8 meters per second. Wavelength, or lambda, equals 4.5 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3 meters. And F is what we are going to look for. The derived equation is F equals C divided by lambda, or frequency equals wave speed divided by wave length. The frequency of the wave is 6.7 times 10 raised to the power of 10 hertz. And based on the table, this electromagnetic wave is a microwave. To check if you have learned our discussion, 
let us perform an activity entitled What's My Leg? The objective for this activity is for you to compare the relative wavelength of different forms of electromagnetic waves. Using the table of the electromagnetic spectrum, determine the frequency and wavelength ranges of each of the forms of electromagnetic wave. Enter your data on the table. You may pause the video as you answer the activity. One eternity later. Did you get the correct answer? Great! Now we are done with our lesson today on electromagnetic waves. To summarize what we have learned, electromagnetic wave can be expressed in terms of energy, speed, wavelength, or frequency. Frequency is measured in cycles per second or hertz. Wavelength is measured in meters. Electromagnetic waves travel with constant speed of 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second in a vacuum. The larger the frequency of an EM wave, the smaller the wavelength and vice versa. The frequency is directly proportional to energy. The spectrum from the longest wavelength to the shortest includes radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet rays, X-rays, and gamma radiation. For your assignment, kindly read and answer additional activity found in your module. If you have some questions or point for clarifications, please don't hesitate to contact your science teacher. Congratulations! You've done a great job! Hoping that you could apply what you've learned in your day-to-day -day life. In tomorrow's lesson, we will be tackling about the application of electromagnetic waves. Have an advanced reading about it. I hope you had fun today. I am your Teleradio program broadcaster, teacher Mirasol saying, never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Goodbye students, have a great day. Thank you.